in the drugstore with a little record department. We started up what became Tower Records as people know it today. It was the store to go to when you're looking for good sounds. People that really knew what they were talking about. It's a landmark, it's a landmark. It grew and grew and grew, and eventually the other stores opened. I had Bette Midler here and Little Richard. The San Francisco store became enormously successful. We drove down the strip, and the first thing you see when you get here is Tower Records. I used to spend hours looking through the jazz collection. It's the best place in New York City. I was addicted to the place because we were all in it for the fun. We loved the music. Yeah, well, store, you know, 131 Tower Records on Sunset. The one up on Sunset Boulevard here, that's like legendary. A lot of things have changed since this thing began. There was no need for this company to collapse. That's great, it starts We're downloading and burning CDs, less people are buying. A pillar in, uh, in the record business is, is closing down. Uh, it's like an old friend that you know you're not going to see again. I'm sad that they're not around anymore. I don't know where I'll go next except the internet. They don't have to go to the record shop anymore. They're definitely downloading. This is too much. This is just whole change in the world. Listen, I have an iPod and I love it. It's kind of really hard for artists to make a living now. They're gonna have to tour. That's how we mainly make our money, is through a lot of live music. As sad as I am about Tower Records, it's not wrong for things to go back to square one sometimes. We're selling music.